Now that we understood the differences between Java and C++, we would move on to the next topic, class loader. Java program is made up of number of classes. I mean, most of them are written by us, or actually some of them are written by us, and most of them are already written for us uh, as part of the JDK. So, they, I mean, who takes care of making sure that the appropriate classes are loaded when uh, needed? I mean, when I do an import, who takes care of making them available? And when I do an import, how does Java know where to find them? And that's where the concept of class loader comes in. I mean, we configure class path variable uh, with a set of jars. Uh, that's the way we tell uh, the uh, Java, I mean JVM, where to find the uh, classes. So, uh, the definition of defining class path is also part of the class loader as such. So, let's look at what are the different uh, things about class loader. Uh, if you look at uh, the class loaders, the hierarchy of class loaders starts uh, from system class loader, next is the extension class loader, and next is the bootstrap uh, class loader. Uh, the role of the system class loader is to load everything in the class path. So, I mean, whatever we configure as the class path, I mean, whatever would be put in the ER, VAR, uh, whatever is available in the class path, that is what is loaded by system class loader. The role of the extension class loader is to load all the classes which are in the ext, I mean, the extension directory. You can configure the extension directory. Typically, it's jre slash lib slash ext, I mean, in the folder where Java is installed. So, this is the extension class loader. This is where the extension class loader looks for classes. And the bootstrap class loader is the basic one. I mean, that's the one which loads all the files, all the class files which are part of the JDK. So, those are the core libraries. It's like your system class or any of the things which are directly offered by Java. For example, your collection classes and all that kind of stuff which are the basic things from Java. Whenever the JVM needs to find a file, the first thing it does is, uh, sorry, f find a class. The first thing it does is, is go to the system class loader and ask, can you find this file for me? I mean, can you find this class for me? System class loader checks the class path and says, oh no, this is not really with me. Uh, let's go to the extension class loader. The extension class loader then checks its path and sees if it's available there. If it's not, it delegates it to the bootstrap class loader and it flows down in the same order again. So that's how Java searches for classes and that's the importance of class loader. Class loader helps you to load classes, load all the different classes uh, and make them available to the JV. That brings us to the end of this section too on Java platform. We discuss why Java is popular and we discussed the differences between C++ and Java, and we took a brief look at class loaders. In the next section, we will learn a lot about object-oriented programs.